This is the ACON staff, the AIDS Council of New South Wales. There's staff and volunteers as warriors holding her 11 metre train in Belvoir. Have you heard of ACON? I have indeed. I think it's fantastic. It's the largest, organisation. The largest community-based AIDS organisation in Australia. They've been fighting HIV for the past 11 years. Uh, the largest provider of care and support services for people with HIV and AIDS. And they run peer education programs and HIV prevention services. And they campaign mainly. They target gay men, but others as well. That is a pretty funky float. So good Big stories. man, dykes on bikes. <laughs> What's your serious message behind your costume? Well, it's certainly a camp way of actually expressing that, you know, people living with HIV and AIDS need their medicine at, at a time where there's new drugs. Um, we obviously need to send out the message that people are doing well, but the crisis is not over and basically the gov government still need to fund it. Supergallifragilisticexpialidocious. Thank you. It's a very, Darren, there's a very serious uh, message that these boys are putting across, which is that they, the ACON fears that a lot of young people are not getting the message about to hold the keep going and save sex. It's kind of changed a little, hasn't it? I think, um, you know, five or six years ago it was, it was a very important issue and now it just seems to be a bit more relaxed. But just, you know, you've got, to keep, you've got to keep those condoms happening.